Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're, um, you know, we're back playing Grit and Valor 1949. So yeah, the last time we played, we, um, yeah, we, we upgraded, uh, this guy. Or we unlocked this guy, upgraded him, got, got him the area of effect, um, increasing the area of effect. And then we put him on our, um, Thunderhead. So hopefully that'll have a bigger area of effect when it attacks. And then, yeah, we also beat the British Isle campaign, but uh, we also bought some, bought the whole shop. Um, but yeah, and then equip some things onto these guys as well. Um, but yeah, we can't obviously move on to any of the other campaigns because they're not available in the demo and the full game isn't out yet. So it's just the demo that's currently available. Um, but yeah, so let's defend the civilian tents. So we'll get these guys kind of going. Actually, hold on. Let's do, let's do this. I'm not sure if increasing the area of effect actually does much. Enemy approaching. Wait, that didn't... Wait, hold on. Did that not... Oh, oops. I guess I didn't actually equip him onto there. That's my bad. I thought I did, but I guess not. Okay. Now we have the right guy. Okay. Explosive class. So that's this guy here. So let's, um... Should... Hoping that increase the area of effect will make a pretty big difference. Hoping. Not super confident in it, but hoping for the best. I think what I could do is, yeah, have them kind of switch. This thing is so annoying. So I want to have basically him attack first, right? Okay, there we go. There's one kill. There's two kills. Oh, okay. Honestly, let's move these guys back. Move them around a little bit. Honestly, might need to use like the airstrike or something just to. Okay, there's three kills. Final wave incoming. Yes, so I basically need to get both of these kills to be able to get the thing. Okay. There we go. Ballistic max. Fire's rate is increased. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's go with this. Defend the civilian tents. Okay, we can do that.
Definitely want to increase the range of this guy. Should be coming from this side next, right? Yes, oh, okay, it's this side. Oh. This tent is really, really damaged. Use a reroll. Oh, that uses money. Okay, well. Let's go with this. Um, I probably will be fine. Okay, let's go with this one. Start the mission. Which way are they gonna come from? Over here? Or? And he's healing himself up, which is really nice. He can stay right there. that guy up a little bit as well. Nice. 
Nice. That went very well. Uh, explosive mics are stationary. Uh, okay, yeah. There we go. That'll be nice to have. So nice making it so that the, like, this guy here can, uh, will, like, repair itself and stuff. Oh, this level is gonna really be obnoxious. they coming from next? I'm just gonna send these guys over to here. Hopefully it won't go too poorly. You know what, actually, we're gonna... I wanna repair all of those guys up. gone a little bit better at the end, but for the most part, that wasn't too bad. There you go. Should I even go for the repair? I mean, do I need it? I feel like it, it would, it's probably worth it. Oh, but that's still the command view. Okay, I'll do that. Well, that increases their health, so not even it's not even a heal, it's just that you increase the health of it, which is really nice. Nice. Seems like it's mostly fire guys that are showing up right now. Look out. We are under 
This guy has so much health, it's not really that big of a deal. If he starts taking damage. Probably gonna have him behind the cover though. Okay, nice. This is going very well. Nice. Found a good use for that. I feel like just just giving them straight up buffs is gonna be more important than giving them like like conditional buffs. If that makes sense. Which I hope it does. that guy up there. Use one of his repairs again. I feel like he doesn't need it. Okay. Nice. 
Okay, one more wave left. I meant to actually use the, the mech jump, but that works too. Oh my gosh. Okay. Everyone's hurting a little bit, but I do have ways of healing, so. Yeah, I'll go with that. Might as well heal them up now. I might actually want to put that other guy on here, on this guy. Instead of the area of effect, I think I would prefer... Uh, actually, you know what, let's... <laughs> that whole row was already taken up, so they can only... There's only like one spot for it. That's fine. Yeah, that area of effect doesn't really seem to do much. I was hoping they would make it so that, like, even though it does miss a lot, I was hoping that it would be able to still hit them, but... We'll just go with that. Let's go with the elite combat, because I haven't... Not a single one of my guys has died yet. Uh, ballistic. So this guy here. Which way are they coming from? Yes, this way. Okay, put him there then. I'd actually put him like there. 
But yeah, that area of effect doesn't really do as much as I would like it to do. Definitely need to increase the uh, range on my fire guy, though. That's definitely something I need to do. Somehow that covers more range. that cover will be enough. Yeah, okay. We lost the cover, but that's fine. Okay. Because yes, this guy is able to self-heal, but it does obviously take a while. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm out of heals for that guy. For this last wave, I think I'm gonna try to heal them. That was pretty good, that was pretty good. Movement speed. They have a chance to heal, yes. That'll be nice. Um Okay, I'm happy with that. Yes, Commander. Let's see, where do we wanna Put him there. Oh, okay. Put him there then. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Far, it's not actually going that bad. It's not going as bad as I thought it was. There's just not much. I am the freaking goat. It's so annoying. Like, it takes so long to trap. Oh my gosh. Clear the 
But I think things should basically be fine. I'm not super worried about this level. But I do still have my abilities and everything as well. Which should definitely help out a lot. And honestly, if push comes to shove, I can always do a final repair. So let's just do it. Why not? What is he doing? Oh my gosh. That was closer than it should have been. <laughs> okay. There you go. Completely flawless run. Did not lose a single guy there. Nice. thing is, like that increased range is going to be really nice. The cano arm is really nice as well, but... Do I want to invest in Mechano Arm and increase the amount that the guy heals by, or you know what, actually, probably, because it is really good. Yes, I want to increase the range of the Flamethrower, but at the same time, I want that healing ability. And I think I am willing to settle with not having that extra range in order to keep the that heal. So I feel like that's probably more important. Let's also increase the damage. We can give the Mechano Arm another charge. Just buy everything from the shop because we can. Um, is there anything that gives. Okay, this one gives two power. What currently exposed chains? Well, at low health is it because if they are healed. Heck, attack, deal, increased damage to enemies with armor. Oh, we do have blueprint. This effect takes lethal damage. It becomes invulnerable briefly and restores health. This can only occur once per run. That guy's armor, its attacks have a chance to hit twice. Next attack, the more, the more black coins you have. That's cool. I think I'm going to go with the healing, though. I think I'd rather that. I do need something that's gonna have two power. Um, 
What do I want on you? I probably want more damage on you. And then... High ground Dave and shirt. Crit chance. Movement speed. Do I already have movement speed on this guy? Yeah, I do. Okay. Pretty happy with how this run went. And how everything... I wish I could refresh the shop, though. But yeah. That was a really good run. Fully, like... Dang, he almost has enough... Almost as much range as the Thunderhead. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, do I really want area of effect? I mean, I'll leave it for now, obviously. But... That Thunderhead, I don't know if I really... If I really want area of effect. Because area of effect, yes, would be good. If it did a little bit more. I mean, it obviously affects the airstrike, which is good. And really, and it, it's useful for the airstrike, but just, it's not as useful for the thunderhead. So that's what I'm thinking. If I can just, I, f I feel like the range would just be better. Because you could increase it twice. You could get two extra tiles. You could have this guy have like five range. Or a uh, six range. Which is insane. Okay, it'd be six. You could probably shoot behind walls with that kind of range. Like, it would be crazy. So that's what I'm thinking. Probably go with that. Okay. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do for the next uh, next video. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of uh, Grit and Valor. If you did, uh, Grit and Valor 1949. Can't forget that part. But yeah, if you did, then please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Mean the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. You guys take care.